Hi there. So today we're unboxing an 18.1 Type-C USB 3.1 hub. So this particular product is by Alexum. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes in a small box with some details here. So it has HDMI and VGA connections on there. It supports 4K and 1080p. Has an audio jack on there. Supports Type-C charging. Has a USB 3.1 connection which provides speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second. Has a SD card reader, HDMI port and an Ethernet port on there as well. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. Get a piece of paper here thanking you for the purchase. Opening it up, this is what it shows. And on the back, you've got the website details. Then we have a user manual. Opening that up, details all in English. Info regarding the connection points, product details, and an FAQ here. More details on the back, and everything's in English. Looking at the actual hub, very nice compact design to it. So 11.7 centimeters this way, six centimeters this way, and the depth is 1.6 centimeters. Length from here to here is 16 centimeters, and the cable length alone is 13 centimeters. All aluminum finish on there. Build quality feels good. Looking at the end of the connector here, if I pull the cover off, type C connector there. Looking at the bottom, it tells you all the connection points. So you've got an audio jack here, if I turn it that way, so 3.5 mil connector there, HDMI connector there, USB 3.1 connection there and there, SD card reader, PD charge point, LAN connection there, and a VGA connection. Cable quality feels really good, nice and chunky, and has a good quality feel to it. Let's make a start at connecting up our hub. So one thing to be aware of, connection wise it's a type C connection and to fully utilize the hub as in using the HDMI and VGA connections, you've got to ensure you've got a Thunderbolt connection on your device. So if you haven't got that, you won't be able to achieve the speeds compatible with these connection points. All that will happen is you'll only have the following available. So Ethernet, the card reader, obviously your type C there and your USB connection point. And what will happen if you plug in your HDMI or VGA, it just won't display anything as simple as that. So make sure your device does have a Thunderbolt Type-C connection on there. Now to make sure, read the documentation, and if you look on your device, so on my laptop here, if I come in at the side, you'll see that symbol on there indicating it does support Thunderbolt. So let's connect this up. I'll plug it straight in. Hear it beeping away. And one thing to be aware of, I'll zoom in. You can see Wi-Fi is connected over there. On the hub itself, got an ethernet cable here. If I plug that in, see the link light start flashing away. And if I zoom in now, you can see it's a wired connection. So it's simple as that to get up and running. It just plug and play. You don't have to install any drivers. Drivers just will automatically be installed. So just to note, this laptop's running Windows 10 Home Edition. Now zooming in close on the laptop, just to show the speed being achieved, you can see it's a gigabit connection on there. So just to test this out now, just to see what the performance is like, I've got a share here on my NAS server with a file which is 3.9 gig in size. Let's copy that file across onto our local laptop see what performance we're going to achieve and see how stable the connection is. So you can see there, seems pretty stable and it's staying at 113 megabits per second. Bit of a drop there, it's coming back up again. And there you go. So performance wise, gigabit ethernet, did see a slight drop on there. And what we'll do, let's just do one more, just to prove a point, see if it does drop a second time. This is a one and a half gig file. There you go, no drop on that one. So performance wise, gigabit infinite and good performance on there. Next, let's test out the card readers. So if you see here, I've got a Scandis Extreme Pro 64 gig SD card. Speeds capable are 95 megabits per second and it's a class 10 card. If I plug that into the card reader slot at the side, there you go, choose what happens with removable devices. And there you go, it's opened it up so it's appeared as a D drive. Now coming in close, the files I copied onto the desktop, if I now cut those and put them onto the SD card, 
just to give you an idea what the performance will be like. So it's just over five gig and three and a half minutes. Transfer speeds, you can see 25 to 26 megabits per second. And we'll let that go through. And let's see if it stably transfers across. and There's no drops in that. There you go, transferred across. Speed was pretty stable, so good performance there. The hub has two USB 3 ports on there, as you can see, and you can plug all sorts of things in there. So even if you had an additional hub to expand the ports further, you can plug that in just to show. I've got a 64 gig USB key here that can be plugged into, and even an additional hard disk. So let's test out the performance of what it's like writing to a USB hard disk. Now with all the devices plugged in, just to show in Windows Explorer, D drive is the SD card reader, E drive is the USB memory stick, and the F drive is the hard disk I've plugged in. So with this, I've got the files back on the computer, and let's copy them across onto the hard disk and see what performance we see. So just hit copy now, and you can see it there, fluctuating a little bit, now it's stabilized, so we're getting about 57, 58 megabits per second. Let's leave it to copy across. So it's saying just over a minute and a half for that. So that's five gig. So there you go, completed now. And you saw the data going across. It's pretty stable all the way through, stabilizing at around 56 megabits per second. It's a good functionality there as well. Now this is where things get a little bit more interesting with this hub. So I've got two screens set up, just a standard monitor there, 24 inch there, and a portable one. This one has a VGA cable connected to it, and this one has a HDMI. Now coming to the hub, and now if I plug in the VGA and the HDMI as well, and there you go, you have two more displays on there. And now looking on my laptop, you can see the displays are duplicated. You can see one and two on there. So if I now scroll down, go to extend these displays, keep changes, and if we scroll up now, you can see two displays. So now if I click identify, you can see number one is over here and two is mirrored on these two monitors. So this is how the behavior works. So you can extend to one additional screen. You can add another one on just for mirroring as well. So cool functionality, the fact you can add on an additional screen if you wanted to add on to, you can do that as well. The hub itself is pretty powerful. So at the moment, what I've done, I've actually plugged in to a HDMI cable that's connected to my TV. Now, zooming in on my laptop, just to show what resolution it's supporting, you can see there, 38, 40 by 2160 and that's 4k and the refresh rate we're getting is 29 hertz it's pretty impressive the fact it can support 4k for such a small unit so you can have a duplicate or extended display so if i come back for a moment you can see there that's the 1080 display and that's the 4k display so i've gone for an extended mode on there so if i reposition the camera you can see there I've got YouTube running in the background. So now if I come over, you can see the mouse. I've just hit play. Take the sound off and you can see in the corner 4K. There you go. Just click that. You can see for yourself if I Put the volume back on as well so you can hear it works really well so you can plug it in directly to a tv and watch 4k footage on there i would have preferred if it went up to 60 hertz but still as a happy medium 29 isn't too bad next thing to highlight is the headphone jack on there so looking over here just got one there and i've got a cable here a line-in cable to plug in to my bluetooth speaker so that's another example for usage of this. You can plug it directly into some headphones or into a speaker system. So if I now play a video straight off YouTube, sounds coming directly at the speaker, pull it out, stops. It's an excellent functionality, it has an audio jack on there. Now here's an interesting use for the hub. 
So I've got my mobile phone at the side and let's try connecting it to it. So I've got a Samsung S10 Plus. So let me plug it in now at the side. Got a message on there. Now it's saying open CX File Explorer to handle USB storage. Okay to that. And there you go, USB drive. So if I click on that, I'm now accessing the SD card that's connected on the hub. And if I click on the file, click play, now playing the file directly from the SD card. So you can use it as a card reader on your mobile phone. Now if I come out of this now, next let me take an ethernet cable, I'll plug that into the hub. Now if I look on my phone, Wi-Fi's turned off, mobile data's turned off, and looking at the message up here, ethernet cable connected. So going to a web browser, there you go. I've actually connected via Ethernet now. So Ethernet connectivity on your mobile via the hub. Now if I get a mouse, a wireless mouse, and we plug in the USB connector for that, and there you go. So as you can see, the mouse is working. If I now select something, there you go, works well. And now if I grab my keyboard at the side, which is also working off that dongle, there you go. So you can connect additional devices as well through this. So card reader, wired ethernet, and additional USB devices connected via it. And now I've brought out my portable monitor, and if I plug in the HDMI cable, just to show, there you go. You've actually got a portable workstation now. And just to show, there you go. Simple as that. So you've got a little computer set up, all with the aid of this hub. Now I've placed a monitor on my desk and it's connected via a VGA cable just over here. And now if I plug that in also, there you go. Mirrored the image onto two displays. You could get three different displays running, your mobile, a HDMI and a VGA coming off a mobile phone. Haven't seen any options if I go into my phone to do any sort of extended display. You can see the options are available there. So two additional monitors running off a phone. How bizarre is that? I didn't really expect that to work, but I thought, let me give it a go. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this 18 Type-C USB 3.1 hub. Excellent little device here. Have to admit the fact it's got a card reader, extra ports, HDMI, gigabit ethernet and VGA on there. Only real disappointment is the fact that you can't have dual screen running off that. Meaning that you plug one screen into HDMI and another one into VGA and they're separate from your actual laptop screen for example. But other than that, it's a great device. In fact, it's so compact and can plug in to a Thunderbolt port. So keep that in mind if you do purchase this device to get an extra display on your laptop or computer. Make sure it has Thunderbolt. Otherwise, the display ports aren't going to work on it. You'll only have the USB card reader and Ethernet working. I'm impressed by the fact it can even work on a phone as well. So that was a bit of a surprise. I didn't really expect that to work. So on my Samsung S10 Plus, it worked quite well. So there you go. I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.